check my test uh, hello everyone this is an easier way of importing your test questions into Moodle so we forgot to uh, give this instruction this morning but when I attended the CAH seminar Sir Chifilo was teaching this and I remembered I reminded them how to teach this so uh, <laughs> I was teaching you how uh, the old way and this is another way the quicker way of adding your test questions into Moodle uh, basically you are following what we call the ICANN format this is how it looks like and this is exactly how it's supposed to look like for example this is the question uh, based on our experiments the question has to be only one line if you put more than one line in the questions the Moodle import will have errors <coughs> and this is how you specify the possible answers A, B, C, D and you have to specify the correct answer instead of uh, as adding typing each question like how I taught you this morning or previously this is easier you just type this in notepad in notepad you have to save it as a text file so uh, the number one difficulty people have with converting their existing questions into ICANN format to easier import them to Moodle or to iStudy is the formatting uh, problem you have to exactly follow either this format or this format now to troubleshoot uh, errors it is important first to get the process uh, correct the process of importing first of all you have to first make sure you are doing it correctly because you have to separate the process problems from the formatting problems and from the syntax problems so we have to first set uh, make sure we are following the process of importing properly and the best way to prove that we, we are doing that is to just copy this use the original questions from the manual so I'm going to copy this text this is the Moodle I can format example so this is supposed to work 100% of the time all we want to prove is that we know how to do it and then we will add our own questions later so I copy this one this should work 100% because pag ang sinubukan nyo po ay yung sarili nyong questions the the problems with importing and the problems with your formatting are mixed and you don't know which is the problem so first we solve the problem by decomposing the problem okay uh, we will make a simple test we will import these questions into a quiz or an exam so this has to be saved in a text format I'm going to open now notepad and then I'm going to paste this here and then I'm going to save it as a text file and I'm going to name it I can test number four I can test four and save it in this PC my documents you have to remember where that is this PC my documents uh, documents I can test for so that's supposed to work because it came directly from the Moodle online manual now let's uh, go to my class imaginary class and I'm going to create a quiz of course you have to turn on uh, editing oh before we uh, add those questions to the quiz we have first to import the question into the question bank we have to import those questions into the question bank so we click the editing the gear settings we click more and then we see this course administration page we go to the bottom and you see the question bank you click import and then you have to click the icon format there are many kinds of format and icon is the easiest way and then <coughs> we have to choose file and then we have to click the icon test format where we saved it this PC and documents and then we click open and then upload file are there errors no errors and then import so it says parsing questions no errors importing two questions from file 
and these are the questions we click continue so that means uh, now we have six questions a, a while ago I imported it already so that proves that the process we know how to import a question now if you have plenty of questions for example in my case I'm going to open my question bump in another in another way <coughs> for example uh, this is my uh, question bank for <coughs> computer networks I'm going to click uh, answers this is 1 to 279 so let's say I'm going to copy these uh, questions copy I'm going to paste it in notepad paste I have to format this so that there are no numbers Yeah, I can programmatically do this, but since uh, no, but only few people can program, I'm doing it uh, manually. So, I'm trying to save it as I can test five. <coughs> Click save, and then let's see if what I did is correct. I try to import that into my Moodle question bank. We go back to the course administration page import question bank I can format choose file I can test five and then click upload import two questions okay and now I have two questions so as you see there are duplicates maybe I have to remove this click delete uh, it's very easy to delete if you want to delete everything just click this and then click delete and then just do the import again so uh, that's how to import the questions and then how to import how to import those questions into the quiz for example in this first quiz oops sorry in this uh, exam I think I have to be in editing mode I can edit settings okay uh, edit quiz here and then I can uh, unfortunately we cannot add or remove question because this quiz has been attempted okay let's just create a new quiz add a new quiz let's name it quiz, quiz uh, or exam 3 <coughs> and then of course you want to time it you want it to be available only tomorrow and then and close the quiz after one day and then we put a time limit of two minutes and then we want uh, not unlimited only one try and then we save and display of course we there are no questions we edit the quiz and then we want to shuffle the questions we want to add a new question 
or add from question bank now these are the question bank you can just click all or select whichever you want but I rather click all and add question to quiz and all the answers are there these are the maximum points for each question and when you save now you have a quiz now if you want to see the quiz as a student you can just click up here and switch role to click student and this is how the student will see your class when the student clicks exam 3 this is how it will look at times allowed one the quiz will be available Wednesday and the quiz will close on Thursday time limit 2 minutes the quiz is not currently available back to the course <laughs> Yeah, it's not uh, the time is uh, it's will it be available tomorrow <laughs> because I set that availability period. Okay, uh, most problems you will encounter, most of the work you will have to do as a teacher translating the tests is to format your existing question banks into a format uh, usable by Moodle. If you have any other format like this or like this there are many ways of but I can format is the easiest uh, way to type your questions and to convert it so uh, basically that's it uh, to review you have to make sure you really know how to import a perfect uh, I can format and then next you have to perfect uh, after you have proven that you can upload this uh, example perfectly then you have to format all your questions perfectly like this and uh, the troubleshooting process is uh, I would like to suggest a troubleshooting process because if you if you try to if you try to wait a minute if you try to camera I just want to show myself excuse me Paul uh, display capture uh, let's look no sorry oops no no no, no, no. transform uh, fits <coughs> uh, sorry for the interruption if you want to if you have a quiz at an exam that is 1 to 100 and you try to format everything and you try to import them and you get errors you don't know where the error is so I would suggest if you get errors in a 1 to 100 test you first import the first 50 if you don't get errors that means the ne the error is in the next 50 if you get errors on the next 50 you import the first uh, sev 50 to 75 questions and check so that you can sub uh, uh, you can divide and conquer all the syntactical errors of your test that is that way anyway it's easy to delete uh, the questions in the question bank you can just try to find the error in your uh, typing so i hope that helps uh, good luck in and uh, doing all the tests online have a nice day po